And she's back guys. Rio is back for more washing. Here's a load of colours, but we're not doing it on a normal colours or cotton cycle. We're trying out a very different cycle that has not been on any of my other machines. So stay tuned and we'll see what this is. And you're watching Florence Ballade 3060 on film. Today's program is going to be the sportswear cycle at 40 degrees. I've been very intrigued to see how this works, so this will be something interesting to see. Colour's the only load I can think that could go on 40 really, because I don't actually have any sportswear to go on that. It's an interesting cycle, as you'll see. So without further ado, we will get loading and start. Right, so before we start, today's detergent is going to be something different. We are going to be using surf pots. Uh, this is the Freshness herbal one, I don't know what these, I think that's just the scent, herbal extracts. Um, we're going to be throwing two in there. Yeah. I do like the smell of these and I haven't used, I've not used them in this machine before so it'll be very interesting to see. There's a small bit of fluff in there from the from last night's drying load. Or simply one pair of jeans that mum had. So, this is all very colourful though, very bright, summery stuff. There's the one from Brighton. I need to put my charger in there too. I'll just check there's nothing in the pockets. I'll end up uh, causing any problems. Nah. No problem. Well, there, was a, there is a pocket on this one actually, but there's nothing in it. Oh, no, there is. What is that? A bit of foil or something. Probably some sweets. Of any of my American friends watching candy. A bigger load than I expected. But as the colour slows always get, sort of big here they do. It consists of all my shirts. We, we did a video of the Hoover A3060 washing 13 coloured shirts. And I've got them. Right, so they're already in there. Conditioner is Lenore Ocean Escape. I'm coming to the end of that. So I'll be naughty and have a full tap for that. Um, because we're doing a 40 as well, I reckon we'll throw in... Oh, have I got any up here again? Yes, I have. We'll throw in a cap of... Um, try in some of this, Dettol Laundry Disinfectant. And of course, we cannot forget the infamous lime scale tablet. This drawer on this machine is literally corroded with lime scale, so it's a very similar story to Millie. Right, let's have some bun. A sportswear. Rio, you have gotten yourself mucky. How have you done that? So, 54 minutes by standard. I can have the intensive on if I want, making it an hour and four. I won't need that. I can't have a medic rinse. I cannot select auto dry, so we have to put it on the cover dry cycle. Can't have a pre-wash either. The spin speed states 800, but I have a feeling it's gonna. I have a feeling it's going to be 1,000 RPM, like the easy care cycle. Because there's no 1,000 option on this, so we'll keep it at that. 40 is the highest we can go. Cold 30 and 40. Actually, cold. Oh, it actually is 46 minutes. Um, the machine will weigh out the low, so well, no, that is a set time I think for that. Um, I doubt we're going to do any intermediate spins, so this will be very interesting to see. And without further ado, I will position the camera back so we can start. Everything's ready to go. Let's go. We will calibrate low first. Oh! We don't calibrate low first. I know, we just fill straight away. Hey, she looks good, that huh? Oh, I quite like these distance shots actually. They show the machine up a lot better. How about we throw all the main wash light out there and then the rinses and then we just do all the spins close up. 
54 minutes, you know, probably talking about maybe hour and a half to two hours for the drying. Because we will have to do an additional 1400 spin. This irritates me that how would you do this, this fill? What will be interesting is to see the six motion actions that we do. So that's the oh filtration. Okay, I'm expecting that. Right. So we do the filtration action on this cycle. Not heating yet. rolling and I still don't throw on the seal. She's gone her in it. Top up. That's gonna end up on the seal I know it. That'd be the rolling slow tumble action. So we actually do the swing action, or this might be, I don't know if that's, we're heating now, but I don't know if that's the swing or the scrub motion. We don't do it for long though. That one, look. Oh, hey. <laughs> I like that. Let me get a video on my phone as well. Don't do it as long as some of them normally do it for. So the sportswear cycle does that a lot. Now as the newer programmed versions of these, um, they do the swing on the cotton cycle. Oh, well, that could be scrubbing. We've reached 40 degrees, so this is actually the scrub motion. The swing motion happens on the woolen cycle.
I'm glad the cycle does do an intermediate spin because I was thinking it'd be like the incense of 60 where we don't.
fill in for the first rinse. I reckon we're going to only do two rinses on this. Okay, we do the uh, swing or well, scrub motion on the rinses. Wow, that's the only cycle I know that does it on the rinse, does a different action on the rinses. And that's really good. Oh, my second intermediate spin is probably the final one as well. Oh, that's some 
always be kind of shocked with all the time. tumbling than the cotton cycle does. That long tumbles, I like that. There we go, uh, scrub. That's good because it's a gentle action, but it also rinses very well. Let's get a close up, you know? Let's get closer up. It's gentle but thorough. Starts from the Dettol there. Let's see one more, shall we? Mm. 
clean air if it's getting cleaned and rinsed thoroughly when you see that. Right, we're on the final spin now, which is going to be 800 RPM, not 1000. It would have been ideal on this spin was actually 1000 RPM. Um, I'll either do the wool or the easy care cycles next. And then we can revisit all the other programs after that at different temperatures. Well, I've still got a film intensive 60, plus all the drying cycles and a rinse and spin. Oh, so I've got to do cotton eco, but I need a long day for that. Instant no. to see what we do on this. We have got such a noisy sink drain. <laughs> it's why I do want to get these put into standpipes. Really has got bloody knives that all over us. I'm just trying to measure how fast that is. I'm sure that's 400 RPM we do. That's, that's what I like about this machine, being able to actually tell how fast the, uh, the drum's spinning. if that actually is 400 or 500 when that first starts off. Four hundred. Confirmed. I haven't done these yet so I'll do it, so we'll do that as the next one. I think that Hot Point considered this fast for the, the 95 the 95 series machines were actually. Mm. 
shut off stop squeaking. I knew we weren't actually going to spend the full four minutes eight hundred yet. We might develop a bit of a squeak here as well. That's two minutes now. There we go. The anti tangles. It'd be good if you just went do 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 Her name is Rio Hench. Okay. Just showing you the additional fast spin that's been done uh, at fourteen hundred RPM. We're at twelve hundred now we're about to ramp up. two hours. I will highly, I'd be very surprised if she does anything less than that. It'll probably be more actually that we'll do. It's quite full though, but quite light I think. And Rio is going to decide for this load. It's going to be Two hours, straight on point. I knew it would be two hours, right? And now I'll probably do it all the way through that well. Right, so there's probably going to be no late night water being charged tonight, because if this finishes at five past ten, I oh no, I can do a quick thirty actually on the sun or something. That blanket they can go on that. That's on. Yeah, like that's the heater coming on. And there we go, we're officially heating up now. Uh, I highly doubt this will cut that down. I think we will go for full two hours. It may take about five minutes off at the end, but it all depends. I know the shorts and that gingham style shirt are going to dry first.
I think they didn't also use the uh, the wash sheets or element as well, like some of the older washer dryers did. Still nice, it's just so nice to have a machine that actually does this now, washes and dries together. You can fit quite a lot in there for the dryer. cycle we have we're gonna have just after this tumble we will have 45 minutes remaining so we have been going for we have been going for well over an hour now and the load the load looks like pretty average dry a lot of hair and lint in there so once all that starts disappearing I'm, I mean I think the machine will run will run the cycle all the way down but my goodness is this machine really hot <laughs> probably going to get just that little bit hotter yet. You can always tell when everything's mostly dry, because the way it tumbles, it spreads out. <coughs> it takes up more than dry. does it as an eco saving thing, cuts the element on the floor. but I know the machine does it sometimes to uh, sense load and how dry it up. Not all that lot, that whole lot. That's probably going to smell absolutely amazing in there. Right, sometime later, she has finished. Let's see how dry everything is. I've left them in the machine for a bit, but yes, I can confirm. Everything is perfectly dry, as you would expect. And that will need a rinse out fluff cycle. Or tub clean as we put the machine on. I'll put that on one now, just at the end. So guys, that was the LG Direct Drive F1496AD six motion washer dryer on the Sportswear 40 cycle. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, so we will focus on the next cycle. I'll either dedicate a, maybe a morning or evening to uh, the Cotton's Eco Cycles. But we will do, I think we'll do the Easy Care cycle next. I, I have got that massive Olympia blanket that I want to wash and see how this machine handles it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, might be some more experiments with Millie we can do. It'll be very interesting. And there she's going. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, 
And I'm going to insert a clip of this doing the vortex at the end. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.